Okay, Amanda, I am making my zucchini noodles. I have two packs of zucchini noodles. Um, two people, pack per each person, because they're that good, you're gonna eat the whole thing. Um, next thing you wanna do is you want a half a cup of low sodium soy sauce, which I measured out, and I throw it in a little Dixie cup. I have a lot of butter, I don't know how much, but it doesn't matter, the more the better. A lot of butter and minced garlic, mix it all up, let it sit in here, just get it ready before you start. Cast iron skillet, high heat, you can see it is steaming, steaming hot. You want a large cast iron skillet to do both of these at once. Then, you want to, as soon as it starts to steam, I'm sorry, I don't know if you can see it when I'm doing this, you want to get the butter and the garlic all in here. Get it in here, really mix it around. I've probably got it like on medium heat right now. And you're not gonna let it sit in there long because it's gonna start to burn. I mean, it is that quick. You get your soy sauce, you get it in. And I kind of give it a little bit of a stir. I'm kind of just getting this to thicken up a little bit. And then once you do that, I kind of let it sit and bubble for a second, maybe for like a minute. And then I start pouring it in and I get both of them in. That's both containers. Sorry, I'm not doing a very good job with this. Got a lot going on here. <laughs> um, that is both containers. And that's why I said you need a big cast iron skillet or else you're gonna have to do one at a time, which is totally fine. And that sauce, just getting that little bit of thick for like a minute before you put it in. You just keep stirring it. You want to keep stirring it, and it totally gets these things coated with that yumminess. And let me tell you, it is so delicious. Now, you can do like some onions in here. I've done that too. Just finely chopped onions, and I kind of would put that in with the butter and the garlic ahead of time. And it makes this, you see the sauce in here? Oh my gosh, it gives it the sauce. And if you make like mashed potatoes or anything with it, or I know you don't like salmon, but you can do it with steaks or chicken or whatever. The sauce is amazing. And really that's it in a nutshell. So I normally let it sit on here for about three to four minutes and you're good to go.